juillet de 89 ans. Il est accusé d'avoir été gardien okay. au camp so d'extermination. Ok, Janet Fido again, and I'm going to do a part two of the uh, tutorial with Lacan Thomas. Uh, uh, shot. We're under a bit of time pressure right now because he's going to be starting his broadcast. Il a été condamné à mort en Israël en 1988 après un procès où d'anciens prisonniers avaient reconnu en lui Yvan le Terrible, bourreau du camp d'extermination de Triblinka. C'était les informations nationales et internationales de Radio-Canada. 1989, le Canada adopte une loi visant à éliminer la pauvreté chez les enfants. 2009, la situation est la même. Comment changer les choses? La fin d'un pays au grand reportage lundi 20h, heure de l'Est, sur RD. Okay. Ce soir sur RTV, un portrait du pianiste Yuli Yuli, gagnant du concours Chopin, le jeune virtuose chinois brille par sa sensibilité et sa maturité. Jeune et Ce soir, 19 h mm -hmm. euh... Jazzer as well, right? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, like, so all I've done is I've uh, loaded up a series of songs that uh, I've used in the past, but I haven't used every single song on my list, so I'm going to go back through this. Uh, just trying to get my attention. Sorry. Hi. Hello? Hi. I was wondering if you could make Uh, announce that you're having this uh, the sale, this um, uh, garage sale. No problem, we'll do it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it goes till four o'clock today. Yeah. Okay. Sure. At the appropriate time, we will. Okay. Thanks. Oh, right. Great. I hear you. Okay. okay. Great. Yeah. No problem. This is what we do. We have our community announcements. Sure. No problem. Okay. Thank you. No problems, Lacon. Okay, now, while well, Lacon's doing that, notice that green, almost top left-hand corner, that's the song time that's left. So as you can see, we've got 1 minute and 52 seconds right there. Thanks, Lacon. Originally, I was at the control panel. How did you get to this one? Which button did you have to press? Was it live assist to get there? No, actually, change. So it's exit, yep. control panel. So mm -hmm. if you start with this, yep. you go to studio, yep. and then you're here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So live assist is live assist, autopilot. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. You're right. Mm -hmm. sure, but, yeah. And then rebroadcast. Mm -hmm. okay, don't do that mm -hmm. So live assist is just. Ah. No, Okay, great. It's, it's really the only option we have mm -hmm. as programmers. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's our option. Yes, yes. Only, right. Not. Yes. And as you notice, watching Lacon, he took all his CDs and he copied it to his file um, under his uh, folder in the uh, main hard drive of the program. And 
you notice up there, it's copy. Mine's going to be a little bit confusing because um, some people use different systems as in just the CDs. Mm -hmm. And um, I do use CDs every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I don't use it the same way. Right. Um, like we always do with this Like, do you prefer to take all your CDs, rip them, and store them in, as MP3 format in uh, the your folder? That's what you do, and that's what we do. It sounds good as well. It seems okay. So, as a DJ would go, my dad was a DJ, got friends with DJs, mm. but surrounded by DJs. The concept of mixing, fading in, fading out, is huge. It's also a skill. Um, I'm not sure if I'm perfect in skill yet, so that's not. It's not something that I push for myself. But getting the music out, and making sure there's good songs one after the other, um, and good programming. Really, that's what I'm concentrating on now. This equipment will not allow. Will really not allow you to do that classic mixing. Any scratching, really any crazy, anything. So, mm -hmm. By the way, Lincoln, right now the music, I mean, we're hearing it while we're we're trying to tape this little tutorial. How do you turn this down? I tried right to hear. Yes. Okay, so what happens is my mic is off. Yeah. If my mic is on, then this will cause a problem mm -hmm. even with the mic. Right. So as soon as you switch your mic on, mm -hmm. okay, it switches it off in the oh. uh, in-house system, the monitor speakers. So, yeah, the monitor speakers... Are off right now. You can still hear because it it's coming through my earphones. Yes. Turn that down. Mm -hmm. Silence. Ah. So right. By, yeah. So now I can like I can go on. I see. So by turning on and off the mic, it yeah. controls the sound that we hear and hear. Okay. Now one thing that uh, I thought I'd ask you before you go back is um, now where it says um, that far right one, that one that says Jazzler. Okay. Jazzler. I could see that it's. Um, the where you could slide it. It's now at minus. Is it at zero or minus? It should be at zero. It should be at zero, and that's the best way to to broadcast it at. Now zero, and then um, now mic. Which uh, is I've heard minus five for when you're actually talking on the microphone. Is that what you do? No, actually, what I do is I monitor the needle, and it's if it's in the red zone, then it's it's really too hot. It's ah. Um, I'll show you a little bit of that, as in. I'll up it just a slight bit. I heard anybody's ears at home. You can see it jumping. I see. Okay. I see. I drop that down to zero. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit more reasonable. Ah. At that point, people at home can turn it up or down according to what they want. Mm -hmm. But I haven't uh, overdone it or underdone it. I see. And okay. as you can see, I put a sticky there so for soundboard. So when yep. I came into the first one, what are all these different pieces of equipment? So that's the soundboard. So now, the one that would jump, to, if your mic was on too loud, is that one that says program left? Is that the, the red one? It's funny. I don't know this is Oh, okay. no. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's a good question. But they all activate the same way. Ah, ah. So... So so that's why it's good when you're talking on the mic, you go to minus five, and for the Jazzler, it's at zero, and you always want to make sure it's not at hot red, because yeah. that'll hurt people's ears. And uh, as you can see, the reason why we're doing fundraising for the uh, Francophone Center is because we need new equipment. I mean, this is great equipment, but it's been patchworked. And some of these buttons, they work, but the lights don't. Okay, think of it. Like, what's going on? Okay. I'm not, I'm not on there yet, no. So I was saying earlier, um, Lake Cons, this mic is mic one. Yes. And this one here, of course, um, there's the sticky that says mic two. And whenever you're on the radio, you want to be able to listen to what's being heard. And so that's why Lacon has his um, earphone, headphones around his neck, and then I do myself. Um, here's what we do. Um, we don't want to listen to the whole thing. We just, whoops, we just listen to part of it. So that's that's what happens. Okay. So, Lacon, thank you very much. I'm going to turn it off until we get to maybe part three. Okay.